Hey guys, what's up? It's Hope, and I'm here to share another really quick recipe with you guys. Um, I've tried this recipe once before, and it was absolutely delicious, so I wanted to make sure and share it with all of you. Now, most of you probably know that I'm following the ketogenic lifestyle right now as far as my diet plan goes, and I found this really awesome recipe for a fat bomb. I've gotten a lot of questions about fat bombs. It's basically another way for people who are following a keto diet to get in their fat um, in a really good way, and so... This recipe only has five ingredients in it. It's super simple to make, and it's called frozen chocolate whips. I know, that sounds amazing, and it sounds absolutely delicious, and it is super easy to make. So I wanna make sure and share this recipe with y'all. I'll make sure and post the ingredients and the full recipe, as well as the stats in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. Guys, yeah, so the recipe is pretty simple. Like I said before, it's five ingredients. It is one cup of heavy whipping cream, four tablespoons of cocoa powder, two and a half tablespoons of Swerve, or I used Stevia, that's what I had on hand, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one pinch of salt. So those are the ingredients for the frozen chocolate whips. And what I'll do is I'll put everything in the mixer, mix it up real good, and I'll show you what it looks like at that part. So I put all the ingredients in the mixture and you beat it on high until it has firm, stiff peaks. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when it's all done. See how it has the peaks in it? It basically is the consistency of whipped cream. And so what you'll do is you'll take it out of the mixing bowl and put it in a piping bag and you'll dollop little mounds onto parchment paper. So I'll show you that step next. So basically the next step is to put all of your chocolate whip mixture into a piping bag or in my case a large Ziploc bag and I just cut the corner off. And basically what you do is you Start in the middle and just squeeze it and go around and just make a little mound, just like that. Um, I'll show you one more. I just go in a circle and just make like a little mound. I'll show you uh, the finished product as soon as I get the tray filled. Yeah, so this is what they look like when they are all finished on a baking sheet. Basically, I just made little mounds until all of the filling was gone. Um, and what you'll do next is you'll put them in the freezer for an hour and let them sit and then they'll be just like little ice cream treats but totally keto friendly and I love the fact that there are only five ingredients in this recipe and um, most of the time you have just those everyday items on hand already so it's not any specialty items that you have to worry about buying. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the freezer for about an hour and then I'll show you what they look like when we're all done. Okay guys, so this is what they look like when they are completely done. The recipe says to leave them in the freezer for about an hour so they'll set um, and you can just put them in a freezer safe container and pop them back in the freezer and keep them in there and just eat one or two whenever um, you need to get in some good fat in. So I just wanted to make sure and share this video with y'all. And that is the recipe. It really is that easy. Um, I just love the fact that it's ingredients that we pretty much already have in your refrigerator or your pantry. Um, five easy ingredients. Put them all in a bowl and mix them up. I'm all about um, the easier the better. Um, and so, you know, like I said, they're already set in the freezer. I put them in an airtight container and I'll be able to pop one or two in my mouth whenever I need to get some extra fat into my diet each day. Um, one thing that I do want to note is I did change up the recipe a little bit. I'm not a fan of how bitter the cocoa powder can be. So I did, uh, instead of using like three or four tablespoons of cocoa powder, I only used about two and a half. And then I put a little bit more stevia and then a little more whipping cream. Um, and the recipe really goes a long way. Like it filled up that entire tray. Looking back at the recipe though, I noticed that their serving sizes were a lot bigger than what mine are. Um, and so the actual stats on the recipe are going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to plug all the recipe, uh, all the ingredients into my fitness pal and calculate what the actual stats will be for um, the, the size of mounds that I made. Um, so that way I get an accurate depiction of what the stats look like. So another good thing about this recipe is you can tweak it to your taste, whatever you prefer. If you like more bitter chocolate taste, you can definitely add the four tablespoons of cocoa powder. If you don't, then you can add less and add a little more stevia. It all kind of breaks down... Um, 
based on what your taste is. So I love the fact that it's easy, um, it's efficient, you have all the ingredients probably already in your pantry and in your refrigerator. Um, it took like less than five minutes to make and then they're already in the freezer um, ready for me to go once they set. So um, I love the fact that it was really that easy. Make them took five minutes, pop them in the freezer for an hour, and they're ready to go. Um, super delicious. I, I did give the batter a taste. It was awesome and on point, exactly the way I wanted it to taste. It wasn't too bitter. Still kind of sweet. Now, it's not overly sweet. Um, it's just something to, to help you get your fat in, and it just gives you a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. So, just keep that in mind when you're making them. I loved. I would love to hear if y'all have made the recipe and how you made it, how you tweaked it, and if you really liked it. So make sure you give it a try. And if you have any questions, just post them down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoy them. Bye.